Okay, I'm uh, here at a little woodland um, called uh, Big Little, Big Little Wood, Big Little Wood, Big Little Wood. It's um, connected to Holden Forest. It's on the other side of Holden Hill. Um, yeah, gonna have a little wander around. First time I've been here. I was here the other day briefly, um, but yeah, I've, I've didn't manage to find any compositions. I was here for literally about ten minutes before I came, had to come back. I was hoping for the conditions to be a little bit better, maybe a little bit of mist, a little bit of low cloud. Uh, we haven't got that today, but um, it's, it's still nice to get out and be in amongst it, maybe find some compositions that I can come back to. Um, before another car comes, we're going to go. Okay. So um, I've got a little way into this, uh, this woodland, and I've had to stop because I've, I've made an absolute schoolboy error today. Um, and the fact that I put my boots beside the back door, to pick them up on the way out um, and I've gone and forgotten and um, my feet are wet already so uh, I think I'm gonna have to turn around go home and get my boots but I mean, the good thing is we're only 20 minutes away from home so it's not a major problem but um, it's not like me to, um, to forget my boots which is a shame because I mean as you can see if we uh, I'll try and let you have a little look around Let's, uh, if I can get this to work I mean, it's absolutely stunning here. Let's go... Um, let's go a bit wider angle for you. The conditions aren't perfect, like I said before, but a bit of, bit of mist in amongst all this would just be absolutely fantastic. It would... Um, really, really would give that a bit of separation. Bring this... Bring this little woodland to life um, but the colours in here are just amazing I mean we've got a beautiful big pool of water up there which I am I'm not going to go up to because I'm going to get soaked but I will do want to go back and get my boots because I think there'll be some fantastic reflections in there um, yeah so I'm going to go get my boots and I'll be back in a bit See you in a minute. okay so um yeah take two <laughs> I've got my wellies. Um, I'm going to need them. Going to need them. So I'm going to chuck my wellies on, and um, we're going to go and have a little walk in this in this wood. And I'm quite excited. The conditions have changed slightly. I mean, it's a bit more overcast now than what it was sort of half an hour ago. So probably a little bit better, to be fair. Um, you never know. This cloud might drop a little bit because we are quite high here where we are. So if the cloud drops a little bit, it, it might come into the forest and give the illusion that we've got a, a, a bit of mist and fog. Okay, so uh, fingers crossed for that. I'm going to put the boots on. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's go. Before I go, though, I just want to have a little, uh, just to show you around, have you a little look where I am. The colour, the colour here is just amazing. I'll look, spin you around, look. Got some beautiful colours. Really are some really nice colours. And some beautiful silver birches over there. And that's where we're going to wander. Up this track here. Like I say I've, I, I don't really know it. Um, I know there's a big puddle and you get wet if you haven't got boots on. That's all I know. Okay. So, um... I've had a little scout around. Absolutely stunning little location this, it really is. So beautiful, so beautiful. But um, I think I found a composition. Don't really want to include any of the sky because it's, it's, it's blown out and there's no definition to it. It's just flat, white. There's not really much going on. But I do really like the reflections in this puddle here. I'm sort of stepping carefully and lightly so I don't ripple the water I don't want really want any ripples on it there's not much wind although there's a little bit of movement so I don't really want to go down too slow on the shutter speed because I don't really want um, to introduce that into the, any of the branches but at the same time I do want to flatten out the water so I might do this in two shots one for the water and then one for the trees and foliage around me but we'll see Okay, that's nice. I am going to um, 
just put a little self timer on there as well because I am shooting at a fourth of a second so although you shouldn't introduce really much camera shake by pressing the shutter you you can so I'm just going to put a little bit of a put a self timer on there just to help out make sure there is no camera shake okay I'm going to come down a little bit lower see what that gives me That's quite nice from getting his grasses in the foreground now. Just going to reposition slightly. Yep, okay, I'm liking that. I am going to um, focus stack in this particular shot though, because like I said, we've got these grasses in the foreground here, so I want them in focus as well as the, um, the background and the midground. So we're going to do it in three. Focus on the foreground area here. Focus in the middle, which is not really much going on in the middle, to be fair. And then focus into the into the background. We'll have a little go seeing uh, do this little landscape as well as a portrait shot. I think it works so much. It's going to work so much better as a portrait, but we, you know you don't know. Let's have a look. See what we've got. I don't know actually. I think I might come down a little bit lower again. Okay, I'm cropped. Cropped in quite tight to be fair. I, again, just don't want the the sky in the shot. Um, we've got this nice highlight in the puddle, which gives you a sort of leading line into the picture. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you over here, put you on the camera so you can have a look and see what um, see what I mean. Okay, so there you go. That's probably pretty much what it looks like. In camera, although I think it's a little bit wider there than what it is in camera. Um, up a little bit higher. I say I really like them reflections in the water. I'm just going to try and keep still a little bit because I am introducing a little bit of ripple into the water. Now my camera is still showing me that I've got a, a little bit of a highlight in the water here. So I'm just going to take a couple more shots and then we'll probably move on um, somewhere else so after editing this image I'm not sure it quite works uh, for me it's it's a little cluttered uh, it seems to be a lot going on and um, even though it's a beautiful scene I don't think it quite quite works
Okay, so I've uh, yeah walked a little bit further along. Stopped stopped here because I quite like I quite like this little area here. Got some nice colour in the trees there. You've got a couple of silver birches amongst it. You've still got a bit of the bit of the yellow on the gorse there. Look, you've got the um, the fern that's got that lovely golden colour. Um, I think it's quite an interesting composition. It always looks good. I'll probably get it back and put it in Lightroom again. Nah, I don't like that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So, um, yeah, I think the composition was there a minute ago where I was. Possibly. You've got a silver birch there right in the middle. That little sapling. There's, yeah, there's a little burst of colours. You've got the sun up there trying to burn through but I don't think it's going to it's all pretty flat really um, this might be a location to to come back later to when we've got the sun in behind us and lighting up all this but as you can see it's all really pretty flat but I'm here anyway so I'm going to take a couple of photos and um, see what we get okay so this is pretty much the composition that I've got in the back of the camera uh, I do like this, um, this silver birch over here coming in. I like the, the, the tree on the end here sort of finishing off the frame. And you've pretty much got the same on this side of the frame here. And I like this dominant pine in the middle here. We've got some beautiful colours in amongst it. Um, some of the... you can't quite see the gorse, but you've got a nice branch. Nice green branch there at the bottom look that's just coming out from the... The pine, you've still got some of the, the bracken in. I may just pan out just to zoom out just a touch, um, but that's that's what it's looking like in the back of the camera. So I'm gonna take this shot again. I might get it home and not like it. I quite like what it looks like in the back of the camera. Um, shame we haven't got some side lights, some light coming in from, from the right of the image, image would be lovely. Um, the sun is up to the right of me, but it's just, yeah, it's just overcast. We're not going to see it today, so I'm going to take a few shots here and um, see what it looks like later. So this is my favourite image from the day. Uh, I do like the composition. I think it balances nicely. The tones within the image are, are really beautiful. I think I've managed to capture the last few days of autumn, so that was great. If you've liked this video, if you can uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe, it'd be much appreciated. And you never know, I might do a few more. So until next time, bye-bye for now.